Today's recipe is this easy no-bake lemon and blueberry mousse cake with a thick and crumbly shortbread crust. So without further ado, let's get started. For the crust we need shortbread cookie crumbs and combine it with a little bit of sugar and melted butter. Let's mix it until it is combined. Then take the mixture and fill it into a prepared cheesecake pan. To form the crust you can use any object that has a flat surface, like a cup. Then just press it down nicely. And into the oven it goes. Let's make the lemon curd. For that we need a small saucepan, add in egg yolks, a bit of sugar, butter to get it extra creamy, and lemon juice. And start whisking it immediately, because otherwise the egg yolks begin to cook, and you don't want to end up with scrambled eggs. Then just warm it on medium heat until it becomes thick. I like to use a metal strainer to get rid of any cooked egg pieces. Just pour the lemon curd into the strainer. Just press it through the strainer with a spatula like this. And this is the beautiful looking lemon curd. Now I can set it aside and make the lemon mousse. For that we need very cold heavy cream and powdered sugar. I like to add the powdered sugar right away or you can also start by whisking the heavy cream and then add the powdered sugar gradually while mixing it. When it is stiff, add melted gelatin and mix it in quickly so that the gelatin doesn't set before. Then let's add fresh lemon curd and some lemon zest for extra flavor. I'm gonna fold it in with a spatula. And when everything is smooth, I take it and fill it on top of the crust. I used a piece of parchment paper to cover the sides of the cheesecake pan. This is optional, but it makes it a lot easier to remove the cake. Fill in the lemon mousse and smooth it out. Then let it sit in the fridge until it's needed. For the blueberry mousse we gotta repeat the steps of making the whipped cream. So just mix up some cold heavy cream with powdered sugar. And whip it with a hand mixer until it's nice and fluffy. It is time to add a blueberry reduction. And this is just some pureed blueberries that have cooked for a little bit to thicken it and then mix with gelatin. And of course I removed the seeds with a strainer. Fold it in with a spatula and when it is smooth it goes directly on top of the lemon mousse layer. Then smooth it out. Let it chill in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. And when it is ready, I decorate it with some fresh blueberries and lemon slices. Fresh lemon zest gives it a really nice finish. I was also thinking about making a blueberry glaze on top. I believe it would look really pretty. Let me know what you think. And that's it. I hope you like this no-bake recipe. Give me a thumbs up. 
and leave a comment if you have any questions. Happy baking! See you next week! Bye!